This is Eden Field, the hallowed ground where the Davis High School soccer teams play. DHS soccer has become synonymous with success, winning several section titles in recent history. And this year, the Blue Devil men were oh so close to taking home another trophy. Down 2-1, to one, the Blue Devils were pressing to score the equalizer in the section title game. But after a non-call and a disputed handball in the penalty box, seven Davis players angrily stormed and yelled at the referee. Davis goalkeeper Pablo Guarniso pushed the referee and earned himself an ejection. And after that, the referee blew his whistle to end the game. The seven players involved in the altercation with the referee were suspended from school and after an investigation, the CIF placed the DHS soccer program on probation for the 2015-2016 season. The team will be eligible for the pro season next year, barring any other offenses during the probation period. The hub contacted several underclassmen, but all declined comment. But for seniors like Kyle Fix and Tim Baxter, remembering what had happened during the game wasn't easy. Fix and Baxter were two of the four players who chose not to react while on the field, knowing that yelling at the referee wasn't going to help at all. Obviously, I was upset like everybody else, but... Um, I think even more upsetting than that was that the season was over, that I wouldn't see most of the guys again because only a few were on my club team. Um, and yeah, I, I was one of the few that didn't go towards the ref. And um, I, uh, yeah, I, I guess it was just natural for me to avoid the confrontation. That's kind of who I am. Um, I was pretty frustrated when he called it off, but, um, you know, when everyone rushed over there and started arguing, um, it, it wasn't going to help. I mean, we had a corner kick to take, but um, all those people rushing over there to the ref didn't really help, and then he called the game, and it just went out of control. Unlike Baxter and Fix, senior DJ Villegas did react and was one of the players who angrily confronted the referee. He understands that the behavior was wrong, but he also wanted to put the whole situation in context. I, I think it's like a natural reaction for an athlete. I mean, obviously we're young and we're still learning about how to react when a call on a big game isn't going your way. Um, but, uh, you know, we just got to learn from it and move on. I think we shouldn't have maybe reacted so angrily, but after years of hard work um, for your senior year to lose in a championship like that, it's kind of tough. For anyone. In the wake of the confrontation, the Blue Devils' actions after the game were featured by area media outlets such as the Sacramento Bee and KCRA3, who labeled their actions as boorish and hostile. Vegas says that the behavior the team exhibited is rare and knows that the incident won't define any member of this year's team. And I think uh, it's only those rare occasions where, you know, students and um, players at all different levels, you know, um, react that way. It's rare. And, um, but it does happen, and I think that uh, it doesn't really define who we are. Like Mr. Lawrenson said, uh, it's not something we do every day, day in and out. It's not something we want to do where we, um, you know, it's not something we preach about. We don't preach about yelling at the referee or um, taking it out on the ref or any official or um, anyone at a superior level because we do have respect for them. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't define who we are. And um, I think it's just a good learning experience for everyone to, to know that you, you can learn and you can move on and it's not the end of the world, um, no matter how big it's been blown up. Viegas may be right, but the event has tarnished the program's image, at least for the time being. Fix thinks that the reputation of DHS soccer will have to be rebuilt in the coming years. Uh, yeah, I agree that it's, it's definitely going to sting for a few years. Um, the whole high school program is going to be thought by this moment. Not that we got to the section finals and we beat teams that were better than us, but that we decided to engage in that behavior. Since the DHS men's soccer program will be placed on probation, it will be of the utmost importance to exemplify good behavior and positive sportsmanship throughout next season. DHS Athletic Director Jeff Lawrenson wants to use the experience as a challenge to the whole school and athletic program to maintain a high level of class and sportsmanship. We will, we're not going to let one incident dictate our image as a whole athletic program, as a boys soccer program. Um, you know, whether, whether we have an image or don't have an image, um, you know, my goal is to continue from this day forward with positive sportsmanship at all times, whether it be our coaches, whether it be our fans, our student-athletes, 
um, you know, our teachers and, and through our student body, you know, at games and things like that. So, um, you know, the goal is always, whether you, you might have an image or not, um, the goal is always to portray yourself in, in a positive light, represent your school community in a positive way. And, and, you know, I think we've done a great job thus far. And the outgoing seniors hope that the underclassmen also learn from the experience. Uh, I think in any game, uh, preseason, the season, or the postseason, just keep your composure and keep your head. Um, if there's a call that you don't like, don't pout or don't yell at the ref because it's not going to end well. It never ends well. And they just need to learn from that. It didn't end well for us, obviously. Um, so I think they just need to work harder next year and show that this behavior of these kids but of the seven kids isn't a reflex reflection on the team at all. Yeah, I think the underclassmen should uh, learn that, you know, to work harder to improve their abilities and their skills so that when the final comes, you don't have the, your fate in someone else's hands so that you can win it on your own and to um, respect the referees, even if they are being, um, you know, we are all people and we all make mistakes. And if they make a mistake, you know, respect it, move on, don't talk to them. Um, and keep playing and make sure that when you go out on that field, you know that your ability 